Here's kind of the process. I'll walk you through it step by step. First, we have to know there's two separate kind of entities to a DUI. You have your criminal side of things, you have your DMV, administrative. They both run parallel side by side with each other. You have to deal with both of them because they're going to have different consequences for different things. Administratively, you have 30 days to request a DMV hearing through the process and through the administrative court. Our firm will file something with the court and then they'll set a hearing. The other side of this is the criminal aspect of it. That's the most significant. You have a lot of fines, a lot of fees. You're dealing with jail time, mandatory jail time up to 10 days. Usually one day is mandatory for a first offense DUI, even if you've never been in trouble before. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna get all the discovery. We're gonna get the information. We're gonna get the body cameras. We're gonna get the blood test results. We're gonna get the police reports, any kind of recorded statements, all that. We're gonna review it and we're gonna look for certain issues. There's legal issues that we can exploit. Then we think that this might be a good idea to go to trial. Another thing is if you're being offered something that we think we can get at trial, then you're not losing anything by going to trial. You're not risking anything. So we'll obviously have to go through what you're giving us, the information that we receive, and then see what we can do. We go to trial on DUIs on some cases, some cases we plead out. It just all depends on what details come out of your specific case. We're going to assume this is going to go to trial until there's something else that tells me we should not go to trial.